What is up guys, this is Max Square, and welcome to another video. Before we get started, I'd like to just say that I hope you all had an awesome holiday break with your family and friends, and that you got a chance to just relax, and that you're enjoying the new year. Welcome to 2017. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering a couple of Mac tips that are fairly simple, but just may help you get about your day when you're working on your computer and just simplify your workflow. So let's get started. So the first tip is on screenshots. Some people do not know how to take screenshots. This is a fairly simple thing. All you have to do is hit Command Shift 3 and that'll take a full screen screenshot. So that just means it takes a picture of your entire screen or you can hit Command Shift 4 and it'll give you a little cursor where you can take that and drag out a window and then it'll take a picture just of that window. So you can see I have my full screen screenshot and then the small one. The next thing is that you can use Spotlight to make unit conversions. So let's say I type in 100 pounds here, it'll give it to me in kilograms, tons, ounces, and various others as well. This is super helpful if you just want to make a quick conversion, like $100 and you want to know how much it is in pounds or something like that. Now one small bonus tip in here is that you can actually move the spotlight window when you have it open. So if I open it up here, I can actually click and drag this to any part of my screen. Now if you want to reset it, you can just get it towards the middle and it'll actually snap so that it aligns perfectly for those of you that are OCD about those things. The next thing is how to force quit an app. So sometimes an app will freeze and it just hangs, you can't do anything about it, so you have to force quit. What you can do is you can either right click on the icon and hold down the Alt key and force quit it, or you can use the shortcut Alt Command Escape and that'll bring up a window of all of the apps currently running and then you can just select that and select force quit and close it. Tip number four is that you can quickly lock your screen and put your Mac to sleep by using the shortcut Control, Shift, and Eject. That'll just put the screen to sleep, and then when you open it up again, it'll prompt you with your password. Now this only works if you have the require password option selected, and you need to enable that by going to System Preferences, Security, and Privacy, and then make sure you have the require password option on and set it to immediately. Tip number five is using the split screen feature to run multiple apps side by side. So to do this, you just grab two different apps and you select the first one and just click and hold on the green button in the toolbar. I'm gonna to use this on the left side of the screen, but you can choose on either side. Just gonna let go and then select Spotify as my second app. And now I have both of these apps running in full screen mode. Now I can actually take this little bar in the middle and drag it to the right or the left to give more space to either app. Now the only downside about this feature is that if you want to exit out of the split screen view, you have to exit out of full screen on the one app, open up the other, and exit out of full screen on that one as well. Now the sixth and final tip of the video is toggling between apps. So you may or may not know that you can use the command tab shortcut to toggle between apps and then command tilde to go back to so use left and right to nav navigate between apps like that. But if you would like to quit or hide an app, what you can do is just go over to the app you would like to quit. So let's say I'm over mail and I want to quit that, I can just hit the Q key and it goes away. And if I'd like to hide but not quit my Chrome window, I can just hit H and you can see it's hidden, but it didn't actually quit the app. So guys, those are just a few quick tips about your Mac. I hope that helped you in some way or another. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome new year.